Las Vegas, home to some of the greatest magicians in the world, like David Copperfield, Penn and Teller, and Piff the Magic Dragon also lives here. In 2015, I was on America's Got Talent, where I got all the way to the finals and then went down in flames. Fire! Pro tip, never shoot a dog out of a cannon. Nevertheless, for the past five years, I've had my very own show right here in Las Vegas. Or at least I did until the pandemic hit. Anyone in from out of town? Anyone? Is that your card? Guess not. That's my lunch money! David Copperfield has won 21 Emmys, sold more tickets than any other solo performer in history, including Elvis, and Oprah Winfrey calls him the greatest illusionist of our time. David has made history by walking through the Great Wall of China, escaping from Alcatraz, and most memorably of all, vanishing the Statue of Liberty, a feat never repeated until tonight. There she is, Lady Liberty herself. Actually, it's just a replica. It's not half the size and made of plastic, but scientists have assured me it's still pretty heavy. When David did this, he had a radar, monitoring the location of the statue at all times. We're gonna go one better. We've got satellite. That's right, my assistant Jade is inside the statue on Google Maps. How you doing, Jade? The statue is still here, but I think I'm standing on a nest of snakes. Now, just like David, we'll be doing this under test conditions, which means we have a select group of live audience members ready to watch history being made again. And finally, we've had a helicopter circling the statue for days now. Ground control to Mr. Piffles. How's it looking up there? This camera will not cut away. Apart from this one last time, keep your eye on the statue. Let's raise the curtain. Now! Oh! I just vanished the Statue of Liberty! How about that, America's Got Talent? I am David Copperfield! Jade! Jade! How's it looking in there? Jade? Ground control to Mr. Piffles! Come in, Mr. Piffles! Oh, we better bring her back. Copperfield! If that was cool, but you know, and I did this, I didn't use any CGI or video effects or camera tricks. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, David. Ah! Oh, shut it down! God, you're right! What have I done? Jade's gone, the dog's missing, and worst of all, I used a camera trick. I've let you down, America. David, I'm sorry. We all make mistakes, Piff. Let me help you out. Don't stop the camera. David Copperfield? David Copperfield. David Copperfield. Thank you all for having me back. This is Rockstar. As you can see, I got all 52 cards separated into pieces across the table, just like all of us that are separated in our homes right now. So here's the deal. Judges, I can't come close to you. You can't come close to me. Problem solved. Here's what we got. I got decks of cards in front of each one of you. So do me a favor. Grab the cards. Okay. Take them out of the boxes. All right. Howie, Sophia, just hold on to your cards. We'll get to you guys in a second. And Heidi, go ahead and take them out and look at them. Make sure they're all different. And then if you would, turn them to show the camera, to show everybody at home that they're different. Perfect. And here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna hold them in your hand like you're dealing a game of cards. And I want you to take the middle finger and thumb like little pinchers and just lift up a section off the top. There you go. And then rotate it. What do you got? Show me. Uh, two of hearts, perfect. 
When I was a kid, I loved the idea of tearing things up and putting them back together magically. But I never liked the idea of tearing something up and putting it back together the same way. Because that's not life, that's not how it goes. I know this, that when I've been torn down or I've been part of a new experience, I try and never come out of it the same. I try and come back better and stronger and stealing greatness from everyone around me. So uh, Heidi, you picked the two of hearts, here it is. Here's a piece of the two of hearts. As you can see, I pre-cut them, but look, I had to save time, we're live on TV, is what it is, here we go. So I got a piece of the two of hearts. All right, Howie, yeah. do me a favor, look at your cards. Okay. Looking. Show the camera that they're different. They're all different. And you're gonna do the same thing. Put them in your hand like you're gonna deal. Like I'm gonna yeah. deal. Take right. the pincher. Yeah. Lift off a piece off the top and show the camera what it is. And show the camera uh, a jack of clubs. Perfect. All I need is a piece of the jack of clubs right here. This two is going to represent me and this jack of club. Every time I hit this stage at AGT, I leave better because the crew here is unreal. They work so hard and with so much passion. So here's what I'm going to take away from them today. Work ethic and passion. And those people have forever changed me. And there I am, ready to go. Wow. Change forever. Now, Sophia, <laughs> take your card, show the camera that they're all different. And then put them in your hand like you're going to deal a game of cards. And then take your fingers, pinch, and just lift off a section off the top. Face down, there you go. Tell, just... tell him to stop giving me instructions. <laughs> yeah. Lift a section dream. off the top. Yeah. Uh, what is that, a six of diamonds? Six Perfect. of diamonds. Six of diamonds. I think your six of diamonds is going to look great right there. So here's what we're going to do. Uh, the six of diamonds. I just need a piece of the six of diamonds. This here is going to represent the judges. You guys bring us all together. You remind us that spending time with family and friends is so valuable because we never get that time back. So I'm going to take from you guys, spend time with my wife and kid and cherish every moment. And you guys have touched my soul forever, and it's never going to be the same. And there we are, three pieces back together. Now, we're missing a corner. My man, I didn't forget about you. My man, Terry, come on out here. All right. Now, we're missing a corner right here. We're going to mix this up. I just want you to think of any card you want to. Take a second and just think of any card. You got it? Mm -hmm. Name the card you're thinking of. What is it? Eight of spades. Eight of spades. Okay, here we go. Eight of spades. Now, this is what everybody's expecting to put the eight right there. But that's normal, that's boring. This piece goes out to all the fans that make this show possible. You guys have changed my life forever. You've inspired me to be me, to be different, and to rock this world. So may we all come together and be different and make this world a little bit better place than when we started. And that right there is how we will forever change each other, always and forever. Whoa. Now, this card is better. This card is stronger than when it came here. And now, Terry, this card is disinfected. Take that. Okay. Make sure there's no tears, no holes, no glue, <laughs> no magnets. That card is, in fact, in one. Thank you for having me back. My name's John Dornboss. It's amazing. great to be alive, baby. Thank you. John Dornboss! Hey! Thank you so much. It is so great to be back. And tonight, we're going to make history right here on America's Got Talent with just two decks of cards. Heidi, could you shuffle the deck? Just push them about halfway in. Okay. And Kelly, if you could do the same with the other deck. Okay. Oh, wow. That was like professional, Heidi. Unbelievable. Oh, no pressure. I'm going to sure. show this here. No, this is unbelievable. This is the Thank official you. Heidi Klum shuffle. Can you help push in? Yes. Yeah, very good. Excellent. And do you want to also give the deck a cut, Heidi? Okay. Go ahead and give them a cut. Excellent. And oh, my God. Well, you I guys, don't like to brag. You guys shuffle better than I do. Can you yeah, see this at good. home? Could you help push them in just a bit? Yes. Very good. Thank you. And you want to cut yours as well? Sure. All right, we'll square them up like this. And just go ahead and give them a little bit of a cut if you could. OK. Now I'm going to separate out the red cards and the black cards. Kelly, mm -hmm. you want red cards or black cards? Red. OK, I'll give you guys the red ones. Now as I do this, you can see I wasn't just joking. She really did do an amazing shuffle. And while I go through these and separate the colors, could you examine the box, Kelly? Just make yes. sure it's totally empty. There should yes. be no cards left in there. I want to make sure we have the full deck for this. Good. Excellent. We have just red ones left? Yes. Do you want to cut those too? Sure. Yeah. Excellent. And I'll come back and do the same thing quickly here as well, Heidi. I'm going to yeah. separate the colors. And if you could check the blue box, make sure that there are no cards left in there. Nope. Empty? Empty. Excellent. My friends, you're about to witness not one, not two, but three incredible coincidences 
that can only be explained by real magic. Or so it seems. Heidi, yeah. do you believe in coincidences? Um, yeah. Excellent. Then you'll be perfect for this. And you asked for the red ones, right, Kelly? Yes. I will give you guys the red ones. All red. Mm -hmm. Put those into the box. And if these are the red ones here, Kelly, as well, yeah. you can put those into that box. Okay. Close up the boxes. And you can just go ahead and put those away if you have a pocket or put it on your seat somewhere where I can't get to it. Get it, Heidi. Very good, <laughs> Heidi. Good choice. We will use just black cards for this. My friends, it's time for coincidence number one. Are you ready? Yeah. Yes. Cut to any card you want. Go okay. ahead, just cut the deck and put it to the side. Perfect. You cut to the 10 of spades. Yeah. Right? I will mark the spot like this. Now I'm going to lift one card from each pile until we get to the position of Kelly's 10 of spades. Now as I do this, you'll see all of these cards are just in the order that you shuffle them in. Totally random, yes? yes? We have a two and an eight. Nothing matches. But when I get to the ten of spades and we pick up the card from the other pile, you wouldn't believe the coincidence. How did you... How did you know that? No. Please, settle down, Howie. Relax. It's just a coincidence. I don't want any credit for this. No, no, it's a coincidence. But I'll show you. The next coincidence is even crazier. Heidi, yes. could you actually shuffle the blue deck into the red deck? Same thing, push about halfway so everyone at home can see the official Heidi Klum shuffle. Wow, that's really good. And we'll push them in. Do you want to take a blue card or a red card? Red also. All right, take a red one if you would. OK. And you could have any of these, but that's the one you want. OK, we'll leave it face down onto the table. Kelly, I'm just going to set cards onto the table. You look nervous, don't be. I've, I want to know how. No, it's good. Just go ahead and tell me stop. Stop. Oh, that was very quick. Are you okay. sure? I could have kept going. No, no, I, no, stop. Really? Yes. I have more here. Okay, fine. You are so good. This one's just random, but okay. this is the one that you chose. My friends, you wouldn't believe the coincidence. Yeah, no, please. I don't think that's a coincidence. No, that Sophia, stop. Coincidence. I don't want credit for this. It really is just a coincidence. I promised there would be a third coincidence as well, so I'll tell you what we'll do. This time I'll separate out only red cards with red cards and the blue backs on the other side. Now you saw the Kelly Clarkson shuffle. You yes. saw the official Heidi Klum shuffle. Now this third coincidence is the one I like to take credit for. I'm so excited for you to see it. Especially you, Heidi, because you believe in coincidences. Check this out. This king goes on the bottom. This king goes on the bottom. If I turn both piles over, they both reveal the king. I did that. What is that trick? You don't look impressed. What if I told you, even after all those shuffles, I also took credit for that one? No way! Hold on, hold on. What if underneath that one there was another mat? No. Wait a minute. Don't tell me. What if then we had the seven of clubs what? match, and then the three of spades, and the queen of spades, and the king of clubs, and the queen of clubs, and the nine, oh and the two, God. and the ten, and the seven, all the way through the five, the nine, the four, the ten, the jack, the two, every single card. That was oh my God. Hold on. I, I no, just, thank like, you. Dribbled. I was so excited. If, no, I gotta tell you, I feel bad. I don't want to take all the credit for this. You did the shuffles, and after you shuffled that the red ones. That was all us. It was you. We are magical. It was all of us. After you shuffled the red ones, where'd you put them? In my pocket. Can you take those out? And you take yours out, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, take those out. I literally dribbled on myself. My friends, this is the moment Open. where it goes oh, from a crazy... Oh, sorry. That's fine. No, that's fine. Oh. This is the moment where it goes from a crazy coincidence to real magic. Because if we open up the cards you shuffled from inside the boxes, you'll see they have no, something no. in common. And that's also a match. I want what? you to get credit for that yeah. and for that. And that's a match. Wow. And this one's for Howie. This one's for Sophia. These are all for Simon yeah. Cowell. Oh my God. And that's a match. And that's a match. And this one in the four and the seven and the yeah. nine and the seven and the five. Every card in the deck. Hey YouTube, I'm Sofia Vergara. Thank you for watching. Why don't you subscribe?